This is Vessel from OnYourWeather.com. In this video we're taking a look at humidity, what it is and how it occurs. I think it's fair to say that most of you already know that water is one of the main, if not the main, driving force of all weather activity around the world. Uh, if you look at the formation of most weather systems, from the smallest um, rain cloud to the largest hurricane and all other weather systems in between, everything involves water in some form and this brings us to humidity what it is exactly what type of water formation it is and how it occurs as well as its impact on weather systems around the world uh, before i continue if anything in this article is a bit unclear or you need additional information you can just click on the link below this video uh, which leads to the full article if you need additional information or you like i said something in this video is a bit unclear okay let's get back to it uh, the goal of this video is to define exactly what humidity is, how it occurs and its impact on weather systems. But before we do that, we first need to define the term itself. What exactly is humidity? Humidity refers to the amount of water vapor or the measurement of water vapor present in the air at a given time. High humidity levels are typically associated with precipitation. It can be felt but is normally invisible. It is usually represented as relative humidity as opposed to absolute humidity. Few comments on this definition. In this case, like already mentioned, water vapor is nothing more than water in its gaseous state. Also, relative humidity is the most widely used form of measuring humidity. Since absolute humidity just measures humidity regardless of temperature, relative humidity on the other hand measures humidity in context of the temperature that occurs at the same time and it also represents it as a percentage value out of 100 making it that much more understandable okay so that's the definition of humidity but now you need to look a little bit further at how exactly it forms what causes it to occur in the first place uh, just remember water basically comes in three different states in its solid state in its liquid state and in its gaseous state Solid state we know as ice or hail, liquid we know obviously as water in its liquid form like we see in rivers, dams, through our faucets, and now gaseous state in humidity. Uh, what we need to focus on is not just the process um, through which uh, humidity is caused, but also the sources responsible for creating these processes. Let's take a closer look. Humidity is caused when water turns from its liquid or solid state into its gaseous form, in other words, water vapor. This occurs due to evaporation and transpiration, both referred to as evapotranspiration, which typically occurs as a result of heating through solar radiation, but also through friction as precipitation travels through air particles. Okay, let's break this down. As I just stated, evapotranspiration is the combined process which includes evaporation and transpiration. Now evaporation is by far the biggest contributor to the formation of water vapor. But that doesn't just occur in one way, but occurs in two different ways. The most well-known way is through solar radiation. The sun heats a body of water, it can be the ocean, it can be a lake, it can be a little puddle, but that causes water to heat up and turn into water vapor. That, however, is not the only way of evaporation to take place and for humidity to form. When precipitation takes place, whether it is in the form of liquid or solid, like hail or ice, precipitation travels through the air, it encounters air resistance, and as a result of that friction with air resistance, heat is generated, and a significant, significant proportion of that precipitation re-evaporates and turn into water vapor. So there are two processes involved here. The other process is transpiration. Now transpiration is nothing more than the leaves of plants and trees which release water from their, uh, from their actual cells themselves into the air contributing to the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere. And that is humidity. Like I just explained and as you discovered for yourself throughout this video, it is one of the most predominant forces, if not the uh, primary force driving all weather activity. Uh, next to wind, the movement of air, 
those two forces are probably responsible for 90-99% of all weather activity. So I hope you found this helpful and if you're still not convinced uh, of its importance and how vital it is for all life around the world as well as weather activity responsible for the support of all life around the world, Google it yourself, read other articles, but just um, I would just like to emphasize the importance of water and especially humidity. Um, although you can't see it, although it's invisible, um, it plays a major role. You can feel it, you can feel its impact, but its influence go far beyond what we can feel and what we can see. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you like this kind of video, give me a like. And also, if you'd like to receive upcoming videos, uh, you remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button. And as soon as other videos regarding other weather phenomena, weather events, how they occur, what the characteristics are, are released, uh, you'll be notified immediately. Like I said, I hope this has been helpful. If you didn't find what you're looking for in this video, you can read the full article by clicking on the link in the description below this video. So again, I hope this has been helpful. See you in the next video. Until next time, keep your eye on the weather. Cheers.